Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today we're going to continue with the configuration of features that we have in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. Today we're going to talk about the packet capture. Packet capture is very important man. If you're going to go to troubleshoot any issues that you might have, most of the times you will need a packet capture and that's very easy for us in the Cisco Meraki dashboard because you can just go there and select what packet capture you want from which device and that's what we're going to go through this video I'm going to give you some troubleshooting tips about how to use the packet capture how to open it and some filters that are going to be very useful for you as well through your troubleshooting session if you'd like to know more about different features and different ways to configure troubleshooting features in the Cisco Meraki devices you can go here this is our playlist for all the features that we have already to configure and how to troubleshoot and tackle any issues that you might encounter in the future. But now we're going to cover the packet capture so we'll go to the dashboard and let's configure it. All right so now we're here in our organization the dashboard in Cisco Meraki and we're gonna go to the tool that is called packet capture here. You can go to network wide packet capture and this is what you're gonna see. This is very important and there are a lot of things that you can do for troubleshooting purposes with this tool, which is the packet capture. It's almost the same thing if you are using Linux devices with TCP dump, it's exactly the same thing. It's for you to see what is the traffic that is passing through an interface, port, and in one specific device. Here, we're gonna go through the different options and then we're gonna make some tests. Here, you can see packet capture. This is a drop down for all the devices that you have. Probably you have more, probably you have less, depending on the devices that you have in your network. So since I have four devices like this one, you can see these different options. You have the security appliance, access points, camera switches, and cellular gateways. If you go to a security appliance, we're gonna see the different options that you can have. The different security appliances, because probably you have one spare configuration, just so you can select which is the master or the one spare, and which one do you want to take packet captures from. The interface, here you see different options, is the same as the other one. It depends on the model, it depends of the interfaces that you have turned on at the moment. Right now I turn on all of them, so that's why you can see the side-to-side -side VPN interface, client VPN, cellular and wireless. In this case, this is the LAN, it means that I'm just sending traffic through the LAN. The side to side VPN is for me to see what is inside of the encapsulated VPN traffic. And the client VPN, the same thing. So if you build the client VPN tunnel and you take high captures here, what you can see is the actual traffic that the client is sending through that VPN tunnel. The cellular, this is because uh, this is a Teller Gateway set three. It means that I have the cellular interface and the wireless as well. It has Wi Fi connections. The other part is the output. So you can either download the pickup or you can view it right here in this tool, which is, we're gonna do both of them so you can see the difference. And the duration for the pie captures to be taken. Filter expression is based on this sample. So you can filter the traffic. For example, if you have an MX that are a lot of hundreds of dozens of clients that are passing traffic through, it will be hard for you to see all that traffic if it's not necessary. Or if there are a lot of traffic, you have here that this packet capture is gonna stop when the 100,000 packets are being captured. So if you have a lot of packets, probably you're not gonna capture the interesting traffic for the troubleshooting purposes. That's why it's better you can filter out based of what you wanna look for. So here there are some examples like host, host and port, ICMP and you can take this one as an example and then apply it to the filter that you want to use and the file name They have like a default file name, but you can change it however you want It's just for you to, to know what is the difference between this packet capture and the other one have a different name We're gonna take a look to the other ones as well. You have the access points camera and switches Let's try a switch so we can take a packet capture right away and we can see the difference here you're gonna see the list of switches, right? Right now I just have one switch, so that's why we have the ports. So you can select the number of ports that you wanna use for the packet capture. In this case, I know that I have a device connected in port six. So I'm gonna use port six. The output, I'm gonna see it right here. So you can see that box that appears. Duration, 60 seconds, yeah, no problem. The verbosity, 
it depends on what you want to look for. Right now, what we're trying to see is just if there is traffic at all, uh, what kind of traffic it is. So low is most of the time enough for you to see just the traffic. If you want to go more detail, I'd recommend you to download the pickup and then open in Wireshark, for example. Here, we can just leave those like that. And if I start the packet capture, and what I can see is a traffic coming from any client or any device that is connected to that port. Oh, so you can see now all this traffic. Here, we notice that there is traffic from 192 and something. Let's, let me stop it so you can see it. 192, 168.2.50. And you can see the destination. So here is the time frame when that happens. The source with the port, the destination with the port. And if traffic is UDP or TCP. So here, there is a fairly enough information for me that, yes, that a specific client is sending traffic. We can do the same thing. And let's say, OK, let me filter out for a client that I know for a fact that is sending traffic. And this is the client that interests me. I can clear the output. And then I can just start start. And all the traffic that you can see here, let me stop it, is coming from the client that I put as a filter. So that, that's why you use the filter. Now I can see all the traffic and I can understand that yes, this is traffic coming from this device to this public IP address using 443. So it looks like it's browsing the web and using UDP. And that's, that's how important it is how to use this kind of tool for us. Another example, let's use it from another device. Here is for access points. Each device is going to have different interfaces or different ways to capture traffic. So here you say that it's a little bit different is because you can select either one access point on your network or you can select a few access points and take by capturing the land side of all of them. The same thing in the interfaces, you have these kind of different interfaces. We can use the wired. The wired is the one where the switch, sorry, the access point is connected to. And the wireless is when the wireless stations are connected to. So that's the two different interfaces that you can take packet captures from the access point. In this case, we're going to take it from the wired. We're going to do the same thing. I know that this client is connected to this access point. And we're going to start a packet capture. Here, I'm downloading the pickup. And we're going to see it later on. And we're gonna compare it then uh, with the one that we see in the output to see the difference. So now I'm gonna use Wireshark to open that packet capture. Let me stop it. It's gonna be downloaded. And meanwhile, we're gonna put it again and put it here. So here I can see the traffic coming from that client. So indeed, that traffic is traversing the access points and going through the switch and the switch port that we took the packet captures from. So that's basically how you use this tool here. And it's very useful when you want to identify if that client is sending traffic through that port or is going through the wireless all the way to the wire, to the LAN side of the network, or using with a security appliance, if it's reaching or hitting the access points or the firewall, and then if it's going through the internet, so you can take the pie captures in the internet interface of the access point. So let's stop here and let me try to open the Wireshark uh, file, the PCAT file with Wireshark. Having now the Wireshark uh, file open with this, the PCAT file, now we can have the whole packet capture that we took for like 10 seconds. And here you can see all the traffic that is being sent to. It's the same thing that we were seeing in the output below, right? The destination and the source are the same. It's telling you UDP and it's telling you the ports. But here, if you need more info in the troubleshooting uh, phase that you're having, that's why it's better if you download the PCAT. And if you talk to the Cisco Meraki support, it's going to be easier if you send these kind of pickups with the interest in traffic that they are looking for. So it's very hard then to troubleshoot just with a low or medium high verbosity in the text file. So it's better here because if I want to filter for some traffic, it depends on what kind of filter you want to use. But you can use the same filters that you use in the web, in the web version. But here, of course, with the same uh, format as Wireshark allows. But that's, that's why it's very important. If you want to go deep, very deep in the troubleshooting phase, use this option. You can download the pickup, and then you can open with Wireshark. 
And that's how you use the packet capture tool in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. As you can see, that's, that can be very, very useful for any issues that you might encounter. And if you see all the troubleshooting sessions that we had before from different videos and different features, you might see that I use packet capture a lot because it's very, very useful. If you'd like to know more about different features or troubleshooting tips, you can go here. This is our playlist for all the features that we have so far in the troubleshooting tips. I'm putting every week a different video to add to the, to the pool. So if you don't find it here, you can go back later on and probably you know, have it here. I'm going to continue making more videos on how to troubleshoot and how to configure more features. So stay in tune. So that's how you configure and that's how you use the packet capture in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.